Hello, this is a tutorial for Midas NFX Analyst Mode. Today, we will talk about how to create your own CAD model inside Midas NFX. So first, as usual, you just click on New to create a new project. You select the unit for the system. Okay. And now you have all the options to create your model into the Geometry tab. So first thing, I will create a plane. So click on the rectangle. Click on the type of method you want to use to create your rectangle. And click on Make Face to create directly a face. Now enter first the first point location value value 0 minus 100 and for the second point point enter 200 200 and click on enter now that I have my plane I will create two circles here so we have an option here circle select also make face and select the first method now for the location of the center of the first circle, enter 150 and 40 and then you have to enter the right radius 20. Do the same for the second center, 150 and minus 40 and 20 for the radius. Okay, then click on cancel. Now to um, we will divide the surface so use here you have the divide surface tool uh, select by surface tab select the surface of the plane and then for the two surfaces select the two circles now here you can select delete original and delete tool and click on OK now I have my plane with two holes and I will extrude this so select the extrude option in the protrude menu select the profile and the direction now for the lens select 50 and uh, you can click on the preview icon to view if the extrude will be done in the right direction, for example, and click on OK. Now, the next step will be to create a profile. Um, so, I will show you how to create that. So, select Move the Work Plane and here select Face. Now, you can select this face and if you click on preview you will see the work plane will come on this face so click on OK now you have to select the front view and I will create a profile here for that I just use the option create profile uh, and I will use these three methods so the la line methods uh, I have another method here to create the circles and uh, so I select line I can click also make face select the first point second point and uh, I will select another point here now I will change methods and use this one select again the line now you can select the circle and select the line again. So you see when you select the last point it will create a profile and make automatically a surface for you. Now I will extrude again this surface so select again extrude, select this face, enter the lens and click on preview to see if it's okay or not. Oh yes you have to select the direction and you see it's not the good direction so you check reverse direction here 
and OK. Now I will select the polyline and I will create a 3D polyline, make face, and uh, I will show you how to do that. Okay, so create a face here. Uh, for the snap option, you can define that in the define snap menu. So uh, you can define all kind of snap, the grid, point, end snap, middle snap. So I have this full snap defined. And it, uh, depending on which snap you defined, the cursor will automatically select one point on the edge of. Now let's extrude again this surface. Extrude, select the direction here, enter the lens uh, 10, it's OK. Preview, again it's not the good direction, so I will reverse direction, and I just select OK. Um, now what I want to do is to move again the walk plane to create, uh, create a chamfer here. So select this space, okay. And now that this space is selected, you can define a circle here. And I wanted the 50 for the radius, okay. Now I have my circle and I will extrude the circle directly into the solid to take off some uh, some material. So select profile, here it's face is selected, so change to edge and select the circle. Now select the direction and um, select make solid, extend geometry and here you have to select cuts. Look at the preview, seems uh, what I want, so I click on OK and I have it. Now I finished the creation of my part, so I can just hide all the guides and I don't need any more um, the circle and the surfaces I created, so you can go in the walk tree and just delete uh, you can also let them if you want. Now I'll just fuse all these geometrical paths together so you can use the boolean operation. Fuse these three parts. Okay. Now now you have your 3D parts. Now what I will do is uh, I will show you how to do very simple analysis on that. So first thing define the mesh. So to define the mesh you have first to define the material and then the property. Uh, in the analysis mode you don't have to define any property but in the analysis mode you have to define that. So first create the material. So choose isotropic. Here you can directly choose in the database any material you want to use. So let's use the all the metal uh, let's use the titanium. Okay. Now for the property, great. As you will do 3D mesh, so select 3D. Select the type of property you want to use, solid, or if you want to use comp composite material or CFD. So here I just use solid, so solid mesh, can enter name. Here you have to choose the material you just created. Titanium, or well, if I want, I can use titanium also. Then, okay, you can define a color. Okay, and now you can do the meshing. 3D. Now select the advanced option, and here uh, I want to use the high order elements, so I uncheck this option. You can preview. Here you have the automatic size, which has been defined which is 9.44. Uh, you can verify this is good or not using the preview tool. So here you have preview. 
I think it's okay, so I'll just check and apply. And uh, you see in two seconds, my model is meshed. Now you have to apply uh, the boundary condition and the load to your model. So go in static, hit analysis. Uh, and here in the boundary tab, select the constraint. And first, I will fix this to face. So by default, in the analysis mode, the type of uh, constraint is the node, but you can change it to face, for example, and select directly the face you want to fix. Click on fix. Okay. Now, as you see, uh, it's symmetrical model, so I want to have simulate I have this part also, so I will select again the constraint. And here in advance, uh, I will use against type face, select these three faces, and now select the symmetrical plane. So for in this case, um, the symmetrical plane can do it here, it's Y and Z. So select Y, Z, click on OK, and you see it fly automatically symmetric condition. And now what you have to do is to put load also. So just static load, select force, for example. And here you can select again face. And I will just put force on this face. So this is uh, again, this is the y direction. So let's put 40 thousand Newton, you can preview, since in the good direction, okay. Now you just have to launch the analysis, so go here, right click, select the type of analysis you want to do, linear static, uh, you can edit it to verify that all your conditions are defined, here you, you have no contacts, just Verify the mesh is assigned to the active part sets, and you have the boundary condition and your load. Uh, for the analysis control, you don't have much uh, parameters for the linear static analysis, so you don't need to worry about that. And you use the case control. So just click on OK and solve. Save it. And you see in three seconds, you have the results. So to see the displacement, you can, uh, as it's a symmetric model, so you want to see the full model. So click on mirror plane, select the plane for symmetry, and you will be able to view your full model. Uh, I will hide the geometry because I don't want to see that. Um, you can view here the form shape and the uniform shape, and you can view uh, the animation. In this kind of case, uh, I believe you want to view the solid form meter stress. So click on form meter stress, and here you see um, the biggest stress here is in this part. Uh, if you want to know more information about uh, where happens the, the biggest stress, you can um, use the isosurface tool. So click on isosurface, and you can define only uh, to view the stress below a certain value. So here you only view the stress below 24 uh, Newton per square millimeter. You can do more to view only the where is the red stress, so only in this part. So in this part, the stress will be superior uh, of nine, 90 Newton by square millimeter. Close. Now, if you want to view, let's say, um, you want to view the stress repartition in this stress distribution in this part, so. Click on on curve diagram 
and you can define uh, a curve directly on the model to view the stress uh, distribution. So here you have a view of stresses uh, more or less linear in these parts, actually. Uh, let's say now you want to modify a bit these parts because um, you want the stress to be. So it's possible to come back to the previous mode. Then you uncheck the symmetry condition. And uh, here you can modify the geometry. So let's hide the mesh. Show the solid again. Change the display mode. mode. Um, then you can go back in the geometry tool and you can create, you can select this uh, surface, select the direction, and let's say you can uh, add 5 millimeter. Then you can use the. You can uh, use the solid mesh. Uh, sorry, you can use the boolean operation to merge these two solids. And uh, now that you modify the mesh, so you have to delete the mesh and to uh, do again the meshing, but you, it's really easy. You just have to select again the mesh, uh, and select this option, S select the same property. OK, it will remesh your model. And now go in the Analysis and Results panel and Edit. And here you have to drag and drop your mesh. You modified it, so you have to activate it again. Click on OK. So, and it will do again the analysis, so total displacement, and now you see uh, you don't have any more the red, uh, sorry, <laughs> this is a displacement. Uh, for the family distress, you see, the stress here is smaller than before, so maybe I have to increase a bit more, and you see the curve is still here. So in my SNFX analysis, it's possible to modify like that your model um, to see the, the results on it. OK, this was a tutorial for my SNFX analysis mode. Thank you very much for watching.